Okay, so the video I made with my review of Black Panther, I guess it was too long. YouTube wouldn't take it. So it was over 20 minutes. So now my enthusiasm has been dampered because that was an awesome review. Uh, and I forgot that YouTube only gives you, I think, 15 minutes now. It used to be make videos as long as you want. Uh, but now you have to break it down. I, I guess I forgot about that. Well, because I got carried away with the uh, Black Panther review. Anyway, I will start again. Um, it won't be as in-depth or as long. But I think you'll still get the enjoyment out of it. I, uh, oh, yeah, of course. I thought it was awesome. You know, it was a great movie. I can't, uh, it, it, it was all as promised. All it was hyped up to be. It did not disappoint the uh, setting in Wakanda, for the most part, was, was breathtaking. It looked great. I mean, the landscape was lush of the countryside. And then it came into the city, which was totally futuristic looking. That was awesome. Uh, the cast, uh, leading with uh, Chadwick Boseman as uh, T'Challa and Black as a.k.a. Black Panther. He was phenomenal. He was phenomenal when he was introducing Civil War. I think he stole that movie. Uh, and he is even better here. He is you know, has come into his own as the king uh, after his father was slain in Civil War. But he is uh, uh, a great leader. Uh, he takes great advice. He just he, he is not that type of character who who knows it all who doesn't need any instruction from my nails. No, he's not that he, he, he takes every, you know, from, from, from other people that gives him advice, he takes it and uses it. So there's no, he does not have an ego. That's not even on the table. Um, and he's great. Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger, the villain, one of the best villains I've ever seen. He's a sympathetic villain though. Uh, the things he is, are doing, trying to do, you, you can understand why he's doing it, where he's coming from. Uh, you That's why you sympathize with him. The way he goes about it, though, is kind of extreme. And he gets kind of, you know, out there. But like I said, he's not the typical villain where he wants to, like, destroy the world. You know, it's, you know, it is something personal. That That's what I love about this movie is it, more personal at stake. Most of the, the uh, early movies, comic book movies, you know, it's always, you know, aliens got to stop an invasion or this this massive world ending uh, thing that's coming. Not here. It is, it is more personal. It's more down to earth. It's more human. That's what I loved about it. Uh, the rest, uh, rest of the cast. Oh, the women. The women totally dominated this movie. I would say if they didn't have these many strong women in this movie, Black Panther would not be as good as it was. It would not be. I, I can, I, I would take that to the bank. I could say that, uh, honestly. Uh, you have Lupita Nyong'o, who at first, you know, I really never really got into her, you know, in a previous film. I haven't seen enough of her. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, but, uh, here, as, uh, Panther's, T'Challa's ex-love, uh, which brings a kind of uh, new dynamic to the, you know, hero and his relationship. I mean, they don't focus on the romance part as much, but it is it's touched upon. You know, it, they they go through remember uh, stuff when they were together, and it you know it has an effect on it in present day. But she is great. I mean, she is a essentially a spy, uh, moving through nations and stuff, but she can hold on. She's badass. Uh, um, Angela Bassett as the queen, child's mother. <laughs> Amazing, you know. She's regal. She she's uh, so so. You know, they you know as a queen, she is there. She is you know caring. She's understanding. She looks out for her her uh, children, the child included. Uh, also, her daughter, the child's sister, uh, Shuri, played by Letitia Wright. Oh, she is so funny. You know, she, I mean, she's playing a character that's 16 year old, but she is a freaking genius. She can create and design so much high tech stuff. She would put Tony Stark, AKA Iron Man to shame. 
because this girl is just brilliant and funny. She's super funny. Uh, who else? Oh, uh, Black Panther has this uh, bodyguard uh, of women called the Dor Dora Madral, something like that. Uh, and the lead uh, that's in charge of that is Denai Guerrero. I think I said that right. Denai, known as Michonne from Walking Dead. She is awesome. She she may uh, take away T'Challa. I think she's my favorite character in this movie. I mean, because she is so take charge. She is not intimidated by anyone or anything. She tells Panther how it is. Um, but she would do everything for him. She would protect him with her life. Her and all the, the other members of the other group. Uh, and these these women are strong, are dedicated, uh, look out for one another and the king and the country of Wakanda. They make the Amazons in of uh, Wonder Woman like Girl Scouts. These because their fighting style is is so unique. They uh, kind of fight as a group, as one. I think it's like twenty or twenty five of them. So when they encounter you know resistance, they they like move together. They flow together. You have to see it. I, I, can't, I can't really describe it. Um, one of the best scenes in the movie is, is when uh, Denai, playing o Okoya, I think that's her name, uh, T'Challa and uh, Lapita uh, go to a casino in Korea and try to uh, find uh, Andy Circus, who plays Claw, who's stolen some property from Wakanda. Uh, and there is this like crazy fight sequence that that let the women shine i mean they just and when they fight they got their own theme music uh and it's just it just sounds so cool it's like flutes and it just sounds amazing uh you you would notice when, when when they're fighting you're like ooh, that sounds cool and they just uh take charge that which leads into a car chase and one of the things about this is this is when you get to see panther uh thanks to his sister she designed his new suit, which is way better than the suit he had in Civil War. It is actually, it it he, this necklace. So when he touches it, it just like the the suit just spreads all over his body. So he don't have, he don't have to put it on. It just like forms over his body. And it's cool as hell. So he's like giving chase to the bad guys who who are in cars. So he's like running out and he touches it and then it just forms over and you can hear the music soaring. It reminds me of Christopher Reeve in the alley. When he changes into Superman, takes flight. That's exactly what that scene does. It's memorable, and it, it makes Black Panther his own being, his own. Yeah, this is me. This is I'm about to do my thing. Um, who else? Oh, um, Winston Duke plays McCat. McCat man should have looked up more <laughs> the names, but he's a rival uh, tribe leader. Uh, who got odds with uh, T'Challa? He actually challenges T'Challa to 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 take the throne, which is a brutal fight. Wow, they go at it. Uh, matter of fact, T'Challa has a second fight with uh, Michael B. Jordan uh, when he shows up. Uh, except Michael B. Jordan as the main villain, he is wow, he's he's impressive. Andy Circus is there. It's great seeing him. You know, non CG. Usually he is as you know. A Caesar or Planet Apes and in, in our Gollum and Lord of Rings. Cool seeing him with a human face. He's buff, worked out, and he's got this crazy, crazy laugh. He's having a good time in this movie, you can tell. Um This movie just flows great, man. It is it's one of those movies that you I can't give it enough praise. It it does it's, one complaint was that it had some uh, that it was kind of long, had some slow spots to drag. No, it does not. Because uh, every, everything moves at a, at, a, at a pretty good pace. And there's some stuff that has to be said, um, set up. So, yeah, there's going to be some discussion. It's not action all the way through. You know, if it was, that'd be that'd be kind of boring. That'd get old. But it is, I, I, I wasn't bored at all. Trust me. I mean, you're watching it like, oh, man, this is just a fantastic. The taking in this whole movie. The, the 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 visual appearance of it, all the characters that are, are, are so bold and, and 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 fresh. This whole movie is fresh. That's that's what I love about it. Cause you know, at some point, superhero movies will will peak 
you know, it'd get to a certain point of like, oh, okay, all right, we've done all this, and, and we'll start to come down. Black Panther is, is a new, bold direction that I think helps this in the long run. I think uh, going from forward, just, you know, this is like, oh, we got to, hey, this is this is new. I mean, because, I mean, how many times can you see Batman uh, do his thing? Or Spider-Man, you know, who's my favorite hero? But God dang, I mean, you know, Spider-Man, what, six, seven movies, and Batman, what, eight, nine, something like that? And, and then, you know, most of the comic book movies, you know, it's like some alien invasion threat they got to stop or some huge world ending crisis. Black Panther, no, this is, like I said, it's more personal, more human, more down to earth. So that's great. Music score is phenomenal. Um, with the, it's got like real authentic, authentic uh, African beats. You can hear the drums playing. Oh, it's just, it's just wonderful. Um like I said, all the the women are great in this movie. The clothing that they wear, very traditional African garb, looks amazing. Looks beautiful. Man, I mean, this whole movie, when they designed it and made it, they they took the time. Every every detail you is so detailed. It, it comes across as just amazing. Um, yeah. Um, what else? Oh. Daniel uh, Kaluuya from Get Out, which is my favorite film of, of 2017. He's in this. He's not the star. He plays T'Challa's best friend, but he has several scenes. That's another thing. I'm, I'm sorry to be jumping over, you know, from point to points, you know, but this is one of the first ensemble films I can say that, you know, everybody character gets to shine several times over not just the one moment and then they're gone blip is, is done they have several scenes over and over like wow they letting them really like get in and, and the whole cast bring their a game their, their acting is, is is stellar it they connected one another it is so awesome to see and like i say it's, it's not no like one-time service they they have several moments throughout this movie where they they get to sh uh, show their stuff, show they get their acting prowess, and everybody is on point. Nobody falls short. Forrest Whitaker, uh, he is uh, one of the advisors to T'Challa. He is great. He has some emotional scenes that that revolve around T'Challa's uh, dad uh, back in the back in the day in the past. So that comes to light. Um, man, I hope I'm not forgetting somebody. But like I like to say it's, it's going to be a shorter video than the one I made. That video is better. I wish I could. Maybe I can break it down into two. Hmm. I didn't think about that. Anyway, I got this video. Uh, Black Panther is is phenomenal. I would recommend it to everyone. And you don't have to have seen the previous Marvel movies. This one is kind of standalone. It has some moments where it harkens back to Civil War about T'Challa and his dad. But for the most part, it's standalone. You, you do not have to see it. They're to make films to get uh, the full effect. And I think that's why it's going to be such a massive hit because people that normally wouldn't see comic movies will go see this one. And they wouldn't have to see all the extra or the movies to get the full enjoyment. So uh, my review, I, I give it uh, an A, 10 out of 10. It's, it's wonderful. It's my favorite comic book movie of all time now. Uh, I can't wait to see it again. Uh, like I said, you guys need to see it. If you can get tickets, I mean, a lot of stuff. Shows have been selling out, uh, but if you can get a ticket, I would highly recommend seeing this movie. It is phenomenal. Black Panther rules Wakanda forever.